video to that. I just wanted to say about one particular thing that happened in this video. There's like a setting with the audio and I like an idiot forgot to select my Elgato sound so all you can hear is what is going on in my room and not in the game. Sorry about that. I'll make sure it's right for China. Enjoy the video and I'll see you soon. It's time for the Bahrain Grand Prix. This is the grid Lewis Hamilton gets his first pole of the season with Max Verstappen once again. He to Giovinazzi Alfa Ricotti pinning Australia's lap P3. But Carlos Sainz and Nico Hulkenberg will start P5 for the same race in a row with Valtteri Bottas P6. Vettel started P7 with Lucas Weber outperforming in P8. Rounding out the top 10 is George Russell ahead of Lando Norris. Butler just misses out on the top 10 with Magnussen starting behind him. After retirement in Australia, Brown is hoping for a better race. Grosje on P14. Pierre Gasly got caught out in Q2 in traffic. He has Perez for company. Ricardo is P17 with Albin P18, some 10 places behind his teammate. On the final row of the grid is Charles Leclerc. He had engine issues and last Lance Stroll. Let's go upstairs to the com box. It's lights out and away we go and Max Verstappen's off like a rocket there. In the background, George Russell's gone backwards. We've got a good start and we're going to go right to the inside of the track and kind of go for it. The green face for Lewis Wheel. We've gone through a red bullet and also a McLaren as well. That was Lando Norris. Lando Norris battling away now with Sebastian Vettel. It's Verstappen from Giovinazzi from Hamilton and Carlos Sainz then from Nico Hulkenberg. We go ah, just behind them in P6 and we're chasing up Nico Hulkenberg now. And what can we do on this opening lap? We've got a good start so far and we're going to absolutely send it down the inside, Daniel Ricciardo. We're past Nico Hulkenberg now and up into P5 in this race. So hopefully we can get the hammer down. You have no idea how much I was struggling into that turn 10 corner and here comes Nico Hulkenberg he's back on us down the inside into the final corner we hold our line right round the outside there Sebastian Vettel getting on the act so is Valtteri Bottas in the background as well Nico Hulkenberg pulls to our inside it's nice that we are on the mediums as well everyone behind us is on the softs we've defended to the outside now to the inside through that corner and now we can get on with our race hopefully but Nico Hockenberg is still there, the two Mercedes up the road going with us wheel as well. Down the inside goes Nico Hockenberg. We hold our line all the way around the outside and defend the German once again. This race, the car felt so much better from Australia. And here he comes again, Nico Hockenberg. I promise you this is another lap, it does look very similar to that one. This time though, Hockenberg staying alongside us for longer, but we somehow excellent traction out of the final corner and are past Nico Hulkenberg but he just stops to literally him on us and is past us now I think into turn one he's surely got us here yes he has the two alphas going to wheel, wheel to wheel as well we go right around the outside of him though that is a mega move somehow we pulled that off that was amazing I mean Nico Hulkenberg left it very late now to the inside and we somehow picked up, we somehow kept our position in this race on that three. And just to see what we can do, it kind of looks like it's going to be a defending race for now. So he's kicked on a couple of corners now, then, and Nico Hulkenberg's in a very fighting lead. He's going to go back down our inside here. We're on the outside having to defend, but he has got through. We couldn't defend on the outside, and now we're left defending Sebastian Vettel in the Alfa Romeo. We go slightly defensive, telling him that that's slightly a bit earlier into that corner. But now Vettel pulls out to our inside. He's going to have a run on us here all the way down that final back straight. And he gets us into the final corner. And now, can we possibly re-overtake him heading down into turn one? I'm going to just sit in the slipstream. We don't have DRS though, which is a bit of a shame. Um, Vettel has that off of us. Now Vettel though can challenge... Nico Hulkenberg and we're going to go very late back down the inside of Sebastian Vettel we go straight over the curb there that weren't good and now 
we couldn't actually get that move done and now we're just left defending we're now going to try and we're going to do the switch back on Sebastian Vettel go to his outside and try and do a Hamilton all the way around the outside just like Hamilton tried to do on Nico Rosberg I think back in 2014 and we've kept it going and this time we do re-overtake Sebastian Vettel for what is P6 in this race now but Vettel's not having any of it he pulls back to our inside heading down into the sort of S section bit back down the inside just like Hulkenberg did I tried to defend it to the inside and I couldn't quite do that and now though he slams on his brakes and I completely lose it we go off the track and this is a replay of what happened I just completely lost it you'll see in a minute this is the replay Vettel slams on his brakes and then I completely lost the back and nearly lost it completely there. I had to go full lock left to even keep the car in a straight line. Skipping on though to lap 7 now and out of the race goes Lance Stroll. And that ain't good for him, he's out. Started last, it wasn't a good weekend for him and he is out of the Bahrain Grand Prix. This is a replay of what happened. He challenged the clan and he hit him there, that could have been nasty. Leclerc not really made a lot of progress in his open seven or so laps. Nico Hulkenberg battling away with Lewis Hamilton. Lewis Hamilton still got the pit and he's just got the pit. Of course, we have that simulation thing where if you get knocked out, the, the game simulates qualifying for the base cars. And that was kind of the reason for the grid, I think, because we have somehow caught the back of Hulkenberg in better again and we've just done both of them into the first corner and that is a beautiful little move and now on lap 8 we're defending Sebastian Vettel we've gone very deep there very very deep into the pits goes Nico Hulkenberg and now we can defend Sebastian Vettel these lot all around us are doing a two stop we are on the one stop from the mediums onto the hards but there Sebastian Vettel has got us and now what can we do can we maybe get back past him in the second DRS we are closing in on the German driver down the inside I thought about it he covered this off very very cleverly there skip on a lap though and out of, and into the pits has gone um, Sebastian Vettel here and out of the race Joe's George Russell, our teammate, same as Lance Stroll, and that is another Mercedes engine going bang in this race. Can it not cope with the heat? Is the Mercedes rain over? And of course, that is very nerve wracking for us in this race. If George Russell's engine is gone, is our car going to do the same? That is one thing we've got to think about. Max Verstappen re really overtook us there for the lead in this race. We were actually in the lead, so that was always a bonus. Into the pits on lap 13, we go. And onto the hard we will be going, and we've actually been in the race this time, of course. From this lap, last time out in Australia, we're pretty much already retired. I'd already called it a day. And let's just see. We can now, if we're very clever and we can get our head down, we can gain some serious time because everyone around us in that opening stint is on a two stop so if we play this right we go very deep and lose out to the Toro Rosso there we can play our if we have if we play our cards right as it were then we can gain some serious points and positions as here comes the Toro Rosso it is of Lucas Weber our former teammate from Formula 2 and also Devon Butler so we have the full lot here all three of us from the F2 story are all going at it and to be honest it's taken what three seasons 42 episodes and we've finally got it but it's about to pull away so as Lucas Weber fends off Devon Butler in that Renault and now on to lap 16 and of course back up which is slightly annoying down the inside goes Lucas Weber we kind of squeeze him out a little bit and now he's just going to sit here right on the back of us and this is something that I kind of wanted even before the game came out and we're three wide here this is amazing Devon Butler 
got back past all of us and I've left it so late down the inside this contact between us and Weaver. And now Devon Butler's nearly been spun round that. Fucking just amazing racing with slight contact, but it weren't too bad. And now they pitted. We've done a lot of laps onto lap 19. This is Sebastian Vettel after making his second stop in this race, I think. He's on the medium, so my guess is that he would be going to the end. And at this point, the hard really weren't the tyre to be on. I probably should have done the two stop. You should have done a very aggressive two stop. Soft to soft. But from the mediums, it should have been very aggressive. We defend Vettel there, but it's only going to be a matter of time because these hards are absolutely horrendous. Literally, they had no pace, no traction, no anything about them. I'm going to try in the next which is the track that's kind of similar obviously not the heat wise but the kind of layout wise to um Bahrain so we'll stay away from the hard tires there as here Vettel comes again he thought about it to our outside he couldn't do anything and now this again we're just gonna have to hope our William straight line speed keeps us ahead but it can't this is the battle for P5, I should probably add as well. And Sebastian Vettel takes P5, car 5. We've gone very wide. And that's pretty much it. And we're just going to have to sit here. Sergio Perez is the car behind us. So it was just pretty amazing from the race he's had and where it finished, where he started. Keeping on though, all the way to lap 24. There's, four, there's five laps to go. And now can we keep... Sergio Perez behind, we've gone deep though into the corner, I told you I was struggling with it, that has just come back to bite me massively, you can see I just locked that left front and lost it completely, and now on to lap 25, one lap later, Pete Gasly has just absolutely launched it past us, like we're not even there, but this is personal because Red Bull weren't good to me, so you know, neither was Pierre Gasly, think back to Italy, Singapore, and down the inside we go, I'm not going to itch to Pierre Gasly, you can bet against that happening, but on to lap 27, and now on to the final lap of this race, just how long we've been battling, who is it going to be, is it going to be Gasly, or is it going to be me, we're going to send it back down the inside of the Frenchman, we're going to have the outside line, we defend round the outside and now here Gasly is going to have the DRF on us to get the job done possibly he couldn't do it though, into that corner again, it's cost us again for a horrendous exit and now here Gasly is going to get past us and now we're going to have to not really have much time to re-overtake him here in this race as round the final corner comes Max Verstappen, he is going to win here in Bahrain, what a race, had dominant performance, Carlos Sainz is P2, and this man, give him a round of applause, Nico Hülkenberg, what a race he's had, he finishes P3, P4 goes to Sebastian Vettel P5 will go to Sergio Perez when he crosses the line. What a race he's had. He's my driver of the day and it's going to be P6 for Pierre Gasly. He's got us on the last lap. That's such a shame. But we just didn't have any tyres left at the end of that race. In terms of the standings, we're not doing too badly. I think we could do a lot better. Obviously, that's our first points on the board, so it's never going to be great. You can see there we're in fifth through ten in the standings. In terms of the constructors, though, we're doing all right. We actually have some points now, which is good. Make sure to slap the like button, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you on the track.